Woo. So kind of a lot going on today. I might just vlog today. Um, a lot of car stuff anyways. So I just went to Grio's and I had to pick up some cleaning supplies. And now I'm going to meet another YouTuber. His uh, YouTube name is uh, Throttle Grottle. And he says he has a pair of uh, Zender wheels he's gonna give me for the project. So going over there and I'll, uh, yeah, come on, we'll see we'll get there, there I guess. Go. What's up, man? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, look at you all organized and stuff. Right, they're all, they're all in boxes. I'll hold, I'll hold this up. Oh, I can just I'll prop it up with my head too. So, yeah. Zender, bam. Zender 15 by sevens, full set. Heck yes. So, actually got these, the, the snow tires, that bought them for the snow tires. Um, and uh, then I just put them in boxes because I didn't want to use them on the rally car. But yeah, like a couple of them were a little scuffed up. Oh, who cares? But, they're <laughs> they're going to be well used. Dude, yeah. those, are, those are pretty cool. Yeah, I think they'll look good on your, on your rig. Heck so. yeah. Let's let's take one out. I want you to actually write on the wheel. Oh, right on the wheel. Yeah, not on it, but like on, in the inside of it, maybe. All right. Like the, I want these car, these parts to be on this car, people's names that are donating for like ever. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Here. Let's do. Uh, let's do this. Yeah. Get on it. Heck yeah. Barely read my handwriting, but that's okay. Okay, I just got here about two hours south away from where I live, and he drove about, I think, two hours uh, north from down in Oregon. So, uh, super excited for what he's donating to this build. I'm really pumped. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, wait for him and then uh, get the stuff moved into the wagon. Pumped. I gotta, I gotta get this on. What's happening again, dude? <laughs> so crazy, man. So crazy. I'm so pumped. How long have you had it? I uh, pulled it off my Mark II two and a half, three years ago when I did my swap. And it's, it's just been chilling. It's just been sitting. I did five lug stuff on my car, so. Oh, that's, okay, I see, I see. Dude, hell yeah. So this is Kyle. I met him down at Woodburn, Oregon, um, and he's decided to help with the build and to donate the subframe, rear beam, brake setup and everything. So it's, um, and I, I really didn't know how I was gonna get all these brake stuff. I'm still working, like I need a clutch, I need a timing belt and all this stuff. So he's being a huge help. So thank you. Yeah, yeah you're welcome. So man. let's check uh, it out. Whole true GLI setup uh, from late body Mark II. So it's 10.1 vented in the front, 4x100, nine inch in the back, Heck all yes. cross drilled. <laughs> and then it's got a uh, large sway bars, uh, new speed. Front nice. and rear, it's hard to tell, but you can kind of see the front one there. Yep, yep. And then the back one's, it's mounted, but it's underneath. You can see the bar. New spindle, or spindles, just in case spares. Perfect. And then, uh, new front calipers. Dude, I seriously had spindles on my parts list to go to pick and pull and, do, and, and get them. Perfect, <laughs> yeah. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> that caliper is off of that side there. Okay. I don't know why I pulled it off. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember, it's, I, if I remember right, I rebuilt them. Okay. But it, it's been like two, three years now, so. Got it. It's all good. It's all good. And then these are spare rotors that have uh, a coating on them. They're just, you just need to like wire brush them down and stuff and brake clean them. But there's Dude, like, they no, look brand new. There's no gouging or anything on them. They haven't even been ran yet. Nice. That's why I threw those in because these are. I don't know if you can. Oh, oh, know. they might be might be too uh, thin already to turn down. Maybe uh, yeah. just okay. random parts. I have more parts somewhere, but I don't know where the hell they are. It's all good, dude. This is gonna help me so much now. So we got the we got the wagon all loaded up. Me and Kyle have been sitting here just talking about Mark Twos, just having a great time. Yeah. Like I've got about two two hour drive home so I gotta get going but like when you meet a guy Sony V-dubs and he's had 24 Mark IIs he said? Yeah. 24 Mark IIs. It's hard not to talk to him so he's had so much experience with different setups and everything so you know when I get that amount of info from somebody it's I love talking to him but um, you know dude thanks again for the hookup I appreciate it and you know 
I look forward to getting this car done and you know so I can show it to everyone that's helped me build this car and everything so yeah. I'm excited to see some progress dude oh my god don't say that <laughs> I know but but thank you again and I'll catch you guys when we get home. Well, back at home and I really want to say thank you to Jeff and to Kyle for their uh, donations to this project. Like I could not be doing this project uh, without everyone helping out because like I was not planning any of this this winter. You know, it took me about a year, year and a half to save up and get all my parts for my 24 valve. So with this happening all within like, you know, a month, month and a half, all these parts coming in. So hopefully I can start in January. It's amazing. And it's uh, stressful and it's just, uh, you know, every day I have stuff to do and trying to get done with stuff. So, but uh, um, yeah, obviously I'm in a different location. I'll update you guys that at the end of the video. So um, yeah, so next up is, um, I was looking at this car online um, I think it was before I even went up and got the Mark II Jetta and you know not getting any replies from this guy at all and you know a couple weeks went by I think like it was like a month and I was over at Jeremy's and he goes um, I, I just talked oh remember that black GTI and like yeah it's, it's still on there but I don't know if it's for sale Jeremy looks at me he's like oh it's for sale I'm like what are you talking about he's like oh I've been talking to the guy this guy hasn't talked to anybody he's got a whole bunch of parts trying to sell the car and everything. I asked him to uh, get some prices on some of the parts and um, this GTI and during it came back and the guy wanted a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but I still wanted to go look at this stuff. So um, the next day I went down there and uh, looked at the car and the guy just wanted too much. He had a whole bunch of other parts. So went back home. Then I started talking to Chayo and I figured that maybe with me and Chayo, maybe getting a couple of things, we can get a better deal. So that's what we did. I made a better deal. Um, me and Chow went down there. Here's some pictures of us down there. Um, I didn't record um, anything when I was down there, but uh, it worked out to be getting, for a couple hundred bucks, I got this shell and it is so nice. And it's a big bumper Mark II. And I like small bumper and big bumper. So, and I love black. So now I have my red 24 valve and I'll have my uh, black 18T with big bumpers and I'm like, I am so over the moon. So yeah, so I have been working on that car. Um, here's a little, here's a couple of pictures of me kind of cleaning out and here's a video of me uh, spraying out the bay. Um, so I've just been doing little stuff here and there, um, trying to, you know, do whatever I can with a limited amount of time. Like some, day, some days I, I get off early or I get done with work uh, early so I can work on a little bit, but when Thanksgiving comes and then the Black Friday, uh, it, it gets kind of hectic and then Christmas is in December also. But I, my, for me, it goes Thanksgiving and then Black Friday, you know, running around getting Christmas presents and everything. And then my wife's birthday is right after that. And then it's, it's just chaos. You know, I've been running around, you know, with my head cut off trying to do this and that and I haven't been uploading videos and I have, you know, trying to get these videos out because I'm getting way, way too far back now. So, but yeah, been working on the car and obviously, so to update you guys where we are now, um, I, you know, last year working on Mark II, some of the times when it's like 16 degrees, 20 degrees out and snowing, it's just, it sucks being in there. I hate being cold. My knees start hurting my ankles, my toes and stuff. So you guys are usually in the shop. Um, this is the garage. I have cleaned it all out. I have all my uh, tools set up in here and uh yeah this is where we're gonna be doing the swap so you know if i have some of my friends come over it's warm in here i can turn on a space heater and it's like t-shirt and jeans in here which you know growing up in the gravel and the rain and freezing like this is a dream come true and my shop out there but i mean that's it's cold still <laughs> but i have been doing some other work so i got if here's a picture of me getting the engine and the trans separated in um, this garage here and yeah so I've been just kind of trying to um, get as many parts of as I can. You know, some of this stuff is expensive. You know, I'm getting a clutch and time bell and I need to get a delete kit so I can uh, delete uh, all the hoses that don't need to be on the engine. And I wanna, you know, I'm learning this stuff too. I'm looking, looking online, trying to learn as much as I can so then I can do it in video form and really clearly step by step show people you know what you can take off when you're putting a 180 into a mark ii um 
So yeah, just really excited. That's pretty much what's been going on. I'll have some videos of what I've been doing in here to get this, you know, so much uh, brighter because it did not look like this a couple of days ago. So these are the lights that I'm talking about. They just screw into a regular bulb outlet, and but you can point the LEDs in different corners. So I don't know. I thought I'd share with you guys to see if they really work. So I took a before picture of that area right behind me. And hopefully this is going to provide us with a lot more light. Whoa, that's right. And just so this part just screws right in there. So this is going to be a pretty easy <laughs> installation to see if it's going to be way brighter. So, all right, let's do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. So, uh, yeah, I'd say that's way brighter than the LED bulb uh, that I had in there. Oh my gosh, dude, that is awesome. Heck yeah. So now this one, so I think I'm going to take this one just completely out and put a different socket in there so I can just have one light hanging down. So in this kit, that the lights come in. They send you with a little little uh, regular bulb thing. So I'm taking that off. I'm gonna put this on so we can have some light. I've got this one up in there. That one is done. Oh my gosh, it is so much brighter in here now. So, um, so yeah, I guess there's my review on that product. I highly recommend it. I think it was only like 30 bucks, 35 bucks for the two. So, but there it is. You guys are up to date and I'm stoked for this build. And thank you again for everyone helping out with the donations and everything. And yeah, I'll see you guys next video.